Hola, teacher. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I awesome. only doing me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because it's like, uh, I think it's two minutes left for the class. So, uh, yes, probably the rest of the people will join soon. But yes, how was your day? Um, fine. I'm so tired. Tired? Yes. A uh, heavy day at work? Yes. Okay, so uh, I, I don't know why, but sometimes uh, Tuesdays are heavier than Mondays. But I usually get happy when I know that the next day is going to be Wednesday because we are really close to the weekend. <laughs> Yes, because the yesterday, uh, yesterday I night and I fly at uh, eleven p.m. At and eleven. Oh. Yes. Uh, today I working at seven a.m. and and I can sleep well. Oh, you couldn't sleep. So you and arrive home at 11 p.m. and then you- No, uh, arrive at the airport. Ah, yeah, the airport. Oh, yeah. so when you wrote, uh, when you texted me, you were not in El Salvador yet? No, uh, es, estaba en Miami. Oh my God, <laughs> I thought, <laughs> I, I, I don't know, what, but I thought that you were in El Salvador or- No. Or um. I visited my family in Tampa. Ah, okay. Uh, nice. Because the airport Tampa is no international. And I fly to Orlando, Orlando to Miami, Miami to El Salvador. Ah, okay. So um, it, I know that that airport, it's really big, the Miami's airport. Yes. <laughs> I, I have lost heard in that. the airport. You got lost. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I have heard that. Uh, so, yeah, probably one day I'm gonna be there. <laughs> I, I got lost in the in the Mexico's airport the last time, so it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and I cannot say that Mexican people were they're not kind. <laughs> but they. The United States is different because the people don't speak Spanish or don't like to speak Spanish. And I say, you speak Spanish? No. Why? And you can speak English. So you don't need to ask for them to talk to you in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> but the English, the, the United States is different. is to quickly. Uh, yes, they speak too fast, but if you ask them to repeat, they understand and they they do it slower. <laughs> they are very nice. Yes. Okay, so that was good that you had that experience and that you visit the family and that you're back again in classes. So welcome. <laughs> Thank you. And the rest of you, how was your day today? Nothing to say about today, say. <laughs> okay, so uh, yesterday we started to discuss about the conditional sentences, right? So we're going to continue with that topic. I'm going to explain a little bit about it. Just let me get ready with this. But I think I need to change my, my background, yes. So, yes, okay. Hmm. Okay, this is what we were studying yesterday. It might be kind of slow today. Okay. 
Uh, can you see my screen? I'm sharing the presentation for the class. Yes. Okay, fantastic. So uh, yesterday we were discussing about what will happen if we get um, a well-paid or a high-paying job. This is what we were discussing yesterday. And uh, you gave us some ideas that we're going to listen to the recording and see. Let me share again. I'm going to share my sound with you so you can listen. Okay, we are going to listen uh, to some possible consequences of getting a, a high paying job. Listen. Page 61, exercise eight, perspectives. Take the good with the bad. Part A. Listen to some possible consequences of getting a high-paying job. Check the statements you agree with. If you get a high-paying job, you'll have more cash to spend. You'll be able to buy anything you want. You'll be able to travel first class. You might have to pay higher taxes. You'll be able to donate more to charities. More people may want to be your friend. You may get your own office. You won't have as much stress in your life. People will ask you for a loan. You'll have a lot more free time. Okay, that was just us to make a recap of what we uh, were discussing yesterday. And after that, we uh, saw the video about conditional sentences with if clauses. And this is the first type of conditional. The first clause, it, has, uh, it refers to a possible situation and we have to use uh, in present. This clause should be in present and it will start with the word if, right? Just to uh, express a possibility, a, a possible situation. After if you place the subject and then the verb in simple present, we don't have to modify that verb. Um, and then the complement. And we separate the two clauses with a comma. So you see here. And the next clause or sentence, it would be the consequence. In this sentence, we will use the future with will, may, or might, okay? Um, so here you, have, you will have more cash to spend, right? And here we have one using may. You may need another job, right? Uh, do you have any question about this? No, teacher. Okay, so we will take some time to uh, match the if clauses in column A with the appropriate consequences from column B. Uh, for example, let's see the number one. It says, if you eat less sugar, what do you think you can match here? The letter B. B. You made feel a lot healthier. Okay, so let's check here. Okay, it can be or C. We have two possible B. answers here. Mm -hmm. Tenemos B. dos posibles. Uh -huh. You might feel a lot healthier or you'll stay in shape without joining a gym and you'll be miserable, <laughs> a life without sugar, no. Okay, so uh, what you have to do is to match the column A with column D and discuss the possible answers. So let me, well, you have this in your presentation, the one that I sent on WhatsApp. So let's see, here it is. Okay, here we have it. Um, 
So, um, do you have any question before I create the section groups? No questions? No. Okay, so we're going to create the groups and you will discuss how you would um, match these two sentences. Let's see. Okay. There's few people today. Okay, we're going to create. Okay.
Okay, we are going to wait for the rest to get back to the main section. Okay, well, I see that almost everybody is here again. So we're going to check this exercise. And after that, uh, let's see, we're going to answer a one question that I see here in the WhatsApp group. All right, so uh, we discussed that two possible answers for number one, if you eat less sugar, you might feel a lot healthier. Or if you eat less sugar, you'll stay in shape without joining a gym. Right. So volunteer for number two. Made this one. Okay. Thank you, Veronica. Uh, Stephanie. Ah, it's Stephanie. <laughs> Ay, es que la dos se puso verdecito y no vi. Ok. Um, ah, ok. Number two, if you want to work every day, for me is number C, is letter C, you'll stay in shape without joining a gym. Ok, yes, that's a, a good uh, possibility. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, Jose, number three. I think in the number three is letter E. If you don't get enough sleep, you won't be able to stay awake in class at night. <laughs> <laughs> yes, true that. Very nice. Okay, Rafael, number four. Number four, if you change jobs, I think is letter F, you may not like it better than your old one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Nice job. Uh, David. Okay, the number five, if you don't get married, uh, you'll have more money to spend on yourself. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Okay, good. And the last one. Worried. Yeah, number six. Volunteer for number six. Me. Okay, if thank you. If you travel abroad, you, you'll be able to experience a new culture. Okay, that's the answer. Thank you so much for that. Um, as checking in the WhatsApp group, and there is a question about the certificate. Have you gotten your certificate yet? No. No, nobody? Actually, okay. no. No. It, it's on the platform or where? <laughs> yes, it's on the platform. Unfortunately, I'm not able to show you because mine is kind of different. So okay. yes, when you finish, and the, or at least you have, you must have the 80% uh, completed and you will be able to see your certificate when, when you see the, your progress, yeah? You get there where it says progress and then in there is a, some little blue letters and it says get certificate. So you click there and you are able to see your certificate. Okay, I will nope. check after the class. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If I can get it. And I am I checking now, but uh, I don't find found it. Me too, teacher. I don't find that one. That... But it says check progress. Yes. Mm. I only have the bars. And. Uh... Well, are they in 80% uh, completed or 100% completed? 
A hundred percent. hundred percent. There's nothing. Me too, teacher. And nobody says that bottom, the blue bottom or the blue there that says get certificate or download certificate. Mm, no. No, no, no teacher. teacher. Hmm, that's where I'm going to ask. Yeah, because the other group, it's the same thing. Um, <coughs> I'm going to ask, yes. Voy a preguntar a dónde, porque sí, uh, recuerdo que así era. Y el grupo que tengo después ya yes. la mayoría ya tienen su certificado descargado. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I'm going to ask and ask them to show me how do they get the certificate. Because, yeah, I remember that it was a um, blue letters and then you click there and you were able to see your certificate and download it. But I'm going to ask. Teacher, yes. I see the, the link. Eh, dice, este curso acaba en dos semanas, el 23 de agosto del 21. Para recibir un certificado debe completar todos los requisitos antes de esta fecha. Uh -huh. Sí, oh, ok. Eh, sí, la mayoría que ya completó entre los requisitos, ¿verdad? El, el 80% o el 100% de la plataforma eh, ya podrían... So, me yes. parece raro que no nadie lo pueda ver o descargar. Yo voy a preguntar. Ok. Mañana les doy la respuesta. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Is there any other question? Sí, porque ahora nos dijeron que ya todos deberían de ser, um, poder ver su certificado. Y si no, pues habría que notificarlo. Uh -huh. Ok. Do you have any other question? about the maybe an exercise or the course itself we're going to finish next tuesday so we're almost there <laughs> okay if there are no more questions we're going to continue here with the exercises about the first conditional and we have this one and we are going to complete the sentences with your own information. And we have a, a very interesting grammar note here about the conditional sentence with if clauses. Uh, we can uh, move the sentences. We can place the if clause at the beginning <laughs> and then the, um, the conditional then uh, after that we can place the La principal la podemos poner um, luego de la if conditional. Y si este es el caso, si tenemos primero la, la if clause, vamos a separarla con coma. Ok, pero si ponemos primero la cláusula principal, como por ejemplo aquí tenemos primero la principal y después viene la if clause. En este caso, vea, no hay coma. Eso es acerca de la puntuación con las if clauses. So you see the example here. If I move to a cheaper apartment, coma, I'll be able to buy a car. Y tenemos a la inversa con la, con la cláusula principal al principio. I'll be able to buy a car if I move to a cheaper apartment. Si este es el caso, entonces no agregamos coma. Uh, questions? Okay, so we what are going... What is different, teacher, what is the different in the first and the second? Only the coma. Solo la coma. Ajá, que si la if va al principio, si la condicional va al principio, si sí, vamos a separar con coma. Pero si ponemos la cláusula principal al inicio, entonces no ponemos coma. Es lo mismo, so, estamos diciendo lo mismo de dos maneras diferentes, pero el significado no cambia en lo absoluto. Lo único es la coma. El, en cuanto a puntuación, en puntuación, sí está ese cambio. Pero no, no hay ninguna diferencia. Lo puede hacer de una o de otra forma. Lo único es la coma. Que no la vamos a agregar si empezamos con la cláusula principal. So, is there any other question? So, just to make sure, 
on the second example, I will feel healthier. There is won't be any comma, right? Because it started with I'll. Uh huh. It's, it's, yeah, it started with the main clause, so we don't need a comma there. Okay, thank you. Uh huh. Okay, so we have the first one already done for you. It says if I go shopping on Saturday, I might spend too much money. Yes. Now, if I feel healthier, we're going to continue there without comma. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you will if complete I them with the. Uh... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I'll give you some time for you to read and uh, complete the sentences with your own information. Okay, finish. Some of them. <laughs> Some of them. Okay, I'll give you one more minute.
Okay, uh, volunteer to share what you got in number two. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Um, I feel healthier if I eat vegetables. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Uh, another volunteer for number two. No, number two is no, the number three is if I get more exercise, I will stay in good shape. Okay, very good, Jose. For the number two, yes, I had another one. I feel healthier if I eat this junk food. Okay, very good. I got the same. <laughs> oh, you had the really? same. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, good. Um, Joanna. Um, uh, the number four. If I don't get good grades in the school, I will leave the year. Oh, okay, very good. Um, so you're going too fast. <laughs> Me llevan rápido. Someone has something different for number four? Yeah, I, I had something different. I Can I try? Sure. Uh, if I don't get good grades in school, I fail the class. Okay, you will fail the course. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. And I have another one. So number four, uh, if you don't get a good grade in school, uh, I, I won't be able to get a scholarship or a scholarship, I think. ¿Cómo, cómo se pronuncia? Scholarship. Yes, scholarship. scholarship. Okay. That's a Thank, good you. One. Thank you. Okay, any other volunteer? I... Me, but with a number six. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't like, it. I'll be happy if pupuses can be without Loroco. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, have you tried it by any chance? Yeah, but I don't really like it. I can smell it at the time that they bring the pupusas. I know that they have Loroco. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. So, um, yes. Okay, number three, five, I got, I, make, I might get more sleep if I go to the bed, to bed early. Okay, good job, excellent. Any other? And with the number five teacher, I have a question. We need to use the, the auxiliary will after the, well, I might get more sleep if I go to bed earlier, or we need to say, no, I that Está bien como lo dijo. Si usan will, that is with will. So if you use may or might, uh, so siempre es solo un auxiliar. Si usan may or might, ya se sabe que es posibilidad en el futuro. So you don't need to add a will again. Ah, oh, okay. Sense teacher. Okay. Mm. Eh, los que intentaron bajar el certificado lo hicieron desde el celular o en la computadora? In the computer. Me too. Ajá, porque ahorita me están mostrando que donde dice progreso, ahí lo bajaron y ahorita les mandé la, ajá, la, la cosita. Y sí, ahí está, ver certificado. 
Pero... But that one cannot be sent it through or emails or it has to be downloaded through the platform. Fíjense que debería de ser es el mismo eh... Yeah. Teacher, pero ahí en qué parte, porque si uno se va a progreso de curso, solo aparece sección 1, sección 2, sección 3, 4, 5 y no, no dice bajar el certificado o no sé en qué parte. Pero es. donde dice progreso ya le dieron clic. Yes, sí, y me sale igual. A mí me sale como la compañera lo compartió en el grupo y probé tanto en la computadora como en el teléfono. Igual a mí así me sale, no, no lo puedo bajar. Y lo, el curso pasado, sí, desde que terminaba el, eh, el, el final exam, eh, ya me salía para bajar el certificado y es, este curso no. ¿Será problema de aquello que no contaba el examen final? Yo creo. Sí, voy a preguntar porque si se fijan, lo, el, es, es el mismo, es, es el mismo eh, pero, curso. Pero no tenemos esa opción, teacher, no se mira arriba lo que nos mandó usted en la captura de pantalla. Ajá, es que así no recuerdo sabe. que funciona. Entonces yo voy a preguntar mañana, administración. Ah, ok, vamos a preguntar mañana porque sí, me parece raro. Y si todos tienen el mismo problema y es el mismo curso, pues no. Debería de ser igual. Rubén está compartiendo y, y así exacto lo tengo yo, no tiene ese recuadro así. Justamente bajo todo lo que me dice, ahí están los, los porcentajes de, de cómo hemos terminado. Y no aparece arriba. Y no, no aparece dice. arriba. ¿No? Ok, voy a consultar mañana. Uh -huh. okay, teacher. Okay. Sí, porque debería de ser uh, igual. So, me imagino que tiene que ver con el problema que tuvieron de que no les reconocía eh, el examen. Eh, a lo mejor algo quedó por ahí. Que no tiempo. reconocía el progreso ya cuando llegábamos ni siquiera llegamos al 80% y ya cuando terminamos de un solo nos dio el 100%. De repente se arregló pero no salió el certificado y en los cursos pasados usted terminaba el examen final inmediatamente la mandaba a sacar el certificado uh -huh. ah, debe de haber algún glitch por ahí lo voy a reportar mañana para que me, me digan que, que procede verdad y, y que puedan arreglarlo ok teacher thank you ok you're welcome thank you, So, okay, we have another exercise here uh, with conditional. Let's see, which words go with which verbs? Uh, we have these uh, words here uh, called energetic, exercising, married, money, relaxed, wait, working. And we have these verbs, feel, get, lose, and quit. Uh, with feel, We place energetic, as you see here, it's already um, just here. Feel energetic. Which other word can go with the bird feel? Which word is missing? Relax. Yes, relax. feel relaxed. Very good, feel relaxed. I'll give you some minutes for you to complete the other three verbs in the chart with the words that we have here in the box. Okay.
Okay, so what do you have with get? Get married. Get, get married. Get married. Get a call. Get a call. Okay, very good. So get married, get a call. Now, what about lose? Wait, wait, wait. Too much. Wait Just and money. Wait and wait money. And money. Excellent. And quit. And um, work. Working. Exercise. Exercise. Okay. Work. Quit working and exercise. Exercise. Yes. Very nice. Right. Now the last practice that we have here is in part B. We need to write sentences with if and some of the words in part eight we have the first one done if i feel energetic we have this one if i feel energetic and then the compliment right i might go for a walk the other should be feel relaxed right Mm -hmm. Okay, so, or you can select the ones that you preferred to complete four sentences more. If I get a okay. call, I will stay at home. Excellent. If I get a call, I will stay at home. Okay, hey, let's write the four sentences and then we're going to share with the class. <coughs> My job, we got more time, but not money. Okay, I volunteer to share at least two sentences. You can share two of your sentences. Let's see, first can volunteer. Okay. If I quit my job, I will have more time, but not money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. And, and I have not <laughs> <laughs> And the if second I one? Lose, if I lose money, I won't be able to pay bills. Right. Yes. Excellent job. Thank you so much for participating. Another volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay. Um, uh, if I get married, I need to share with someone 
special all my life. And another one, I don't know if I can use a uh, don't. For example, if I don't lose weight, I'm going to change my clothes. Could be possible. If I don't lose weight, uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes, if I don't lose weight, I yes. will have to change oh, all I my will. clothes. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much for participating. Uh, any other volunteer? Make it. Okay, Stephanie. If, uh, if I lose money, I'll be very angry. Great. And uh, if I get married, I may go to a honeymoon. All right. Excellent job. Thank you so much, wow. uh, Byron. If I lose money, I won't be able to pay the bills, or I don't know if I can say my bill. Uh, either or is correct. Okay. okay, thank you. Another sentence, Byron? Yes, Oh, <laughs> I thought it was just one. <laughs> it's two. <laughs> Do you have another one? Yeah. If I get married, will, oh, sorry. If. Yeah, that's okay. If I get married. If I get married, I would like to get my wedding in another country. Very nice, excellent job. Thank you so much. Uh, David. Um, I might feel more relaxed if I have a coffee. Same here. <laughs> Good. Is there any Thank other you. sentence you would like to share? Only one, David? Mm. Let me check. Um, yes, just one. <laughs> okay, no worries. That's okay. Thank you so much. Uh, is there any other volunteer? Yeah, teacher, I have a, a question. Yes, uh, If I use might, I don't need to use to next to the the another verb right that is For correct ah, okay thank you mm -hmm. any other question or doubt okay that's a very important question so uh, we used to if we are um, separating two verbs Okay, eh, si es para separar dos verbos, vamos a usar el to. En este caso, I will be able to buy. Uh -huh. Be able to buy. And then be able, siempre lleva el to después. Be able to, be able to. But another example could be, I will have, si después del have, pongo otro verbo, Tengo que separar con el to. Uh, por ejemplo, if I say, um, if I work on the site, I will have to spend more money in gas, so, right? So I will have to spend more money. I will have to spend. Entonces estoy separando el have y el spend usando el to. Porque son dos verbos and they cannot go together. Solo en ese caso se usa el to en estas en, en la consecuencia. Uh -huh. eh, pero después de my, no iría o might. Por ejemplo, you may need. En este caso, como dice otro noun here, you may need another job. Pero si yo quisiera poner otro verbo, podrás o podrías necesitar buscar otro trabajo. Si pongo aquí buscar, buscar es verbo. Entonces, para separarlo de necesitar, que también es verbo, ahí sí pondría el to. You may need to look for another job. 
Solo en ese caso va el to. Pero sí, después del auxiliar, como inmediato, después del auxiliar, will, may or might, no se pone to. Solo lo usamos para separar dos verbos. Uh, is there any other question? No more questions? No for now. Okay, so we no, have thanks. this um, to practice more vocabulary and uh, I think it's the, the last practice about this topic, yes. And uh, we have word power, consequences. Let's write two consequences for each of these uh, situations that we have in here in the chart. So we have the possible situation is fall in love. What could be um, two possible consequences of falling in love? For, for example, we can say, if you fall in love, you might feel jealous sometimes, okay? consequence of falling every in love. day uh, every day <laughs> every second <laughs> like <laughs> all right so if you fall in love you may feel jealous sometimes so we are building uh, uh, conditional sentences using this vocabulary that we have here and that was just an example you can use the um, um, the words that we have here, this vocabulary, or you can use different um, consequences here. So we have possible situations, fall in love, get a part-time job, join a gym, move to a foreign country, and study very hard. Those are the situations and you have to write the consequences here. I'll give you a couple of minutes and then we're going to share what you have. ¿Cómo dijo el ejemplo de fall in love, teacher? If you fall teacher, in love, you mute. might feel jealous sometime, I think. Teacher, Thank you. Yes, I was in mute. Um, the, the example was, if you fall in love, if you yes. fall in love, you may feel jealous sometimes. As okay, okay, okay. You may feel jealous sometimes. He's writing. That's it.
Okay, volunteers to share. That can be the one that you okay, prefer. Teacher. Stephanie, okay. If you walk a long, if you walk a long time, you may feel tired. Okay, very nice sentence. Thank you so much for your participation, Maylene. Another volunteer? If you get a part-time a mm -hmm. part job, you may get uh, valuable, valuable work experience. Okay, valuable work experience. Valuable. Very nice. Valuable. Get... Okay. Uh, just I have two questions, but I'm going to say the, the for example, that I had for the last one. Mm -hmm. Well, before the last one. If I move to a forgiving country, I might communicate in a in a different language, but my doubt is if after my, I will have to add, I might have communicate in a different language. I don't know if I had to use might have, or it's gonna be just might. It's okay if you say I, I might communicate in another language. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you say have, yes, you have to say have to. But this yeah, is okay. like uh, you are expressing kind of obligation. I may have to. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be, I might communicate in a different language. Yes, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Joanna? Yeah, if you join a gym, you might get in shape very nice nice job okay um we're going to stop here unfortunately the time is over so thank you for joining today's section and please uh start thinking if you would like to review a specific topics and let me know tomorrow okay tomorrow good night see you tomorrow